everyone, welcome to Whisper the Mystery. A very warm welcome to all the new and existing subscribers. Welcome to the family. In today's reading, we're going to look into how do people see you? What do they think about you? There are three piles over here. This is the first pile, the white heart. The second pile, the blue heart. And the third pile, the orange heart. So please take a moment, meditate on the cards and use your intuition to choose the pile. You could also pause the video to meditate on them. And if you're ready, let's start with the first pal, the White Heart. Welcome pal one, all those who have chosen the White Heart. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. We're now going to look into how do people see you? What do they think about you? Okay, so first we have here the Two of Pentacles. Right, so what I'm seeing in part one is, first of all, people think you're able to multitask really, really well. Some of you watching out there could be having um, different projects you're dealing with, or it could be where you're working as well. At the same time, you follow certain passion. There could be a few different things you are dealing with. And what people are seeing here is that you handle everything extremely beautifully in a very balanced and dignified manner. Because unlike the other decks over there where the person is juggling, this is showing as someone who is beautifully managing different areas of their life, right? So you could be coming across as someone who is very busy, most of the time pretty tied up, right? And you know, just your hands are always full. There is just so much going on out there. Now, they see you as someone as well who's very financially stable. This might not be who you truly are. This might not be how you see yourself. But this, again, is how people see you as someone who is financially very stable. Your um, whatever passion you're following, whatever you're doing, they feel you're receiving a lot of abundance out there. And there is a lot of dealing here with overseas. If some of you are probably, you know, maybe you could have traveled or maybe you're dealing with clients in the overseas. There is something here related to um, across the ocean. And I'm also seeing here the moon very strongly behind it. So you could be very tapped into your intuition. You could be very intuitive. And people might be seeing that you are someone who follow your instincts a lot, who follow your heart a lot. Because like I said, the different multiple things you're dealing with, they might not be completely related to each other, but you have made them related to yourself because you are out there following your heart. All right, that's beautiful. Next we have the Empress. Okay, so with this, I'm sensing that you have a very maternal feeling out there within you. Even if you're a male watching this, there is something very um, feminine about it, very, uh, you know, maternal about it, very, very nurturing. Um, I'm saying that you are, people kind of put you a little bit on the pedestal, so you're not someone who is easily reachable, okay? But they look at you and they are in awe of you. It's like you have... Like I said, everything is under control in your life. You um, could be someone as well who looks very, very beautiful. That's how they see you, like this empress out there. Okay, you have everything out there going in for you and you make things happen for yourself. It's not like you've been born with it. Okay, they've seen you as someone who has worked these things for yourself, who've done things around here for yourself. And that's the reason why they appreciate you so much more. They love you so much more. But yes, um, they see you as someone as well who is a lot by yourself. So it's not like you have many, many friends out there around you, but you are very happy and very content by embodying yourself there completely. So if this is something you've always wanted, I feel people are kind of slowly recognizing this fact about you, that yes, you may be alone, but you're not lonely, all right? You've achieved for yourself so much, where maybe if you would have been under other people's influence, you would not have been able to achieve those. And oh my God, we have your creation. It's so similar here to the Empress energy. Right, a lot of you I'm sensing could be spiritual people out there, right? And this is what people as well notice about you is that through your spirituality, through your connection out there with the spirit, you've been able to manifest out all of these things in your life, all these blessings out there, which you are able to see for you in your life, okay? Now again, you've made this for yourself and you've seen this major, major difference here between you. 
okay the way you were in the past and the way you are right now is last time as well they saw this energy but they still see you kind of more like a you know okay you're trying to manifest things in thin air but they couldn't see the result of it but now it's like they see the results you have created in your life and there is a strong trust factor which is coming out there for you okay you are embodying this financial side maybe right now is a lot of you as well are concentrating a lot on your finances and your you know financial aspects and slowly and surely though this is growing for you and they are recognizing this a lot for you okay then we have here joy right so again it's a very very beautiful beautiful energy so People see you as someone who is very happy, who's very, who's enjoying life, who's living the best version of themselves, okay? And here this person's eyes is closed. They are like in blissness. And even here in creation, oh my God, everywhere I'm seeing here where this person's eyes is kind of closed, where you are going deep within. So they know that you are truly happy in your life and you are deep within happy. It's like external situations are not making you happy but deep within you are finding happiness with your spirituality with your contentment it's your deep inner joy here which kind of gets portrayed to people when they see you smile it's like you're smiling out there from your heart and you have the effect here of bringing this joy and happiness in other people's life as well it's like when they connect to you when they speak to you there is this spark of joy which you leave behind in their lives okay and Again, they're seeing you someone who is at a pedestal. It's kind of difficult for them to reach you or they're finding it difficult to reach that position in life or that stage in life where you currently are, okay? Like I said, you could be someone out there who they feel is financially very, um, very blessed, but at the same time, emotionally as well, you could be very, very blessed. Um, a lot of you, I don't know if you have your own family or not, because I'm seeing a lot of single energy here. So they are recognizing this fact that you are single, yet you are happy. You are bringing all this abundance out there on your own. Even if you're in a connection or you do have a family of your own, you've brought this abundance by yourself. It's like very self-made energy out there, which I'm sensing. Okay, then we have here by the book. So they see you as someone who rarely makes mistakes. Okay, they see you as someone who is like the perfect person, the perfect male, perfect, sorry, perfect man or perfect woman. But you are someone out there who follows things by the books, all right? So the way you would read of someone should be, their life should be, the way they should lead their life, that's how they see you. So that's the reason why they find it very difficult to be you, because they see you as someone who is following the steps of life, okay? Who is the perfect person by the book? Now, again, this is what people see. Maybe this is what you want people to see, but I really don't think you are someone like this. I feel like you rather could be someone who is a little bit of a rule breaker, all right? And the abundance out there which you're seeing in your life, these things which you've created in your life, it's not all come for you in this fairy tale story kind of way. It's not been, but that's how people see it because what you show the people you show them the end result okay if you're creating a project you show them the end result you do not show them the process of the hard work which has gone through so they are seeing this perfect you know um, side of your life which it might not be you are showing them here the end result you are not showing them here your hard work and that's the reason why they feel things are easy for you life is perfect for you and okay this is correct, it's coming true, trapped in fear. So you do have a lot of fear within you, pile one, but you do not show this, like this is like a cage which I'm seeing. People are seeing this joyful side of yours, this abundant side of yours, this very nurturing side of yours, but I feel like you need someone like this, in fact, in your life, the way you show other people, that's what you need to give to yourself. So I'm seeing for a lot of you, a lot of inner child healing here needs to take place, okay? So you need to overcome a lot of this whatever task you've created in your life however you've led your life it's been done all out of fear and that's not what you show so people think you're super confident you're very content you're very balanced but that's how you're showing it there is a lot of fear here within you which i'm sensing okay but if you work on it it's definitely something again which you can overcome 
and we have your triumphant success. So as kind of I said, it's the hard work here, which you've been through so much, so much you've endured part one, but what is truly just people are seeing out there is the result. Now you have a very good communication skills, whether you know it or not, you're a very good um, orator, you're a very good speaker, and they love the way you speak. They love to listen to you. But I'm seeing a little bit self-sabotage happening for you. It's kind of the limiting beliefs out there for you where you don't feel people want to listen to you. So everywhere you go deep within, you do not have this confidence in yourself to trust yourself that people do want to listen to you. People do want to learn from you. All right. And we have your chop wood. So this again shows that you cut off people very easily from your life, Pawan. If you feel some people or situation are not serving you, I feel like you just cut them off from your life. And people who've experienced this can see this in you. This is not something, again, which everyone can see. This is something which very few people who are close to you or who have experienced this you know, side of yours know that you can cut off very easily. As much as one point, the person might have been very close to your heart, but if they hurt you, if they've ill-treated you, if they've done something to you, you have shown them the door, right? So you are stronger than you think you are. I'm feeling here like people recognize all these qualities within you, but you find it very difficult to recognize it within yourself. And last, we have your image number 24. Okay, this is very, very beautiful. So they see you, bring this here, at least you can see some of them. Okay, so people see you as someone who is very strategic in their life. You plan things very well, you very carefully plan things, but they do not know that actually you use your intuitive side to get things in your life. You trust your guides, you trust your spirits, you listen to your heart, and that's how you move forward in your life. You do not actually have many plans here. Strategically, I don't think so, but that's how you come across as someone who's very intelligent, someone who knows what they want, and that's how they're moving forward in their life because they're seeing you progress, so they feel like you have your own plans in life. But actually, I'm seeing you, you've had a lot of transformation, and for you, the biggest point you had to learn is to trust this, your spirit guides, to trust your instincts and your intuition, which is always there by your side. And I feel like a lot of you, oh my God, is showing you a cage, and this is like trapped in fear right? So you could have been actually trapped in your own fear or it could be where, you know, you have been stuck in a particular connection or relationship which has not been serving you or which has not been good or right for you out there, okay? And you are slowly freeing yourself from, freeing yourself from this situation. You're freeing yourself either from this limiting belief or this mindset or you're freeing yourself out there from this connection or relationship um, which is not serving you and you cut off people very easily so I feel like when time is right you will definitely make that move. It's like your spirits are slowly opening the doors out there for you and this transformation which has happened you are going to bloom completely. The way people think right now you are I feel that's how you are actually going to transform to become is this beautiful beautiful empress. You do not feel yourself like this empress I'm sensing. People see you. Can you see the similarity in these two? So people see you as the empress, but you do not believe you are the empress. And very soon, I feel, is you are going to start believing you are the empress. And along with using your intuition, I feel like you will strategically as well start using things in your life. All right, Pal One, I hope you enjoyed this reading and resonated with this. If you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Now, I am offering a personal reading, but I'm also offering many different types of readings like a soul reading, I'm teaching tarot courses, and I'm also offering a very special coaching, which is helping empaths or people who are hiding their gifts to come out in their open and to start their own spiritual business. So if there's something you're interested in, you could email me. My email address is mentioned in the description below, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Goodbye. Welcome, pal, to all those who've chosen the blue heart. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. We're now going to look into how do people see you? What do they think about you? Right. First, we have you the fool. Okay. Very interesting. So, pal, two, 
People see you as someone who is brilliant at taking a risk. You could be um, coming across as someone out there who has a lot of courage, a lot of guts, and you are not afraid of starting something new. You're coming across as someone out there who is very, very bold, all right? Very bold. And that's the reason why if you have something in your mind, if there's something you want to initiate or start, you will just go out there and do it. So whether it's starting your own business, whether it's leaving your job to find another one, whether it's feeling that connection relationship is not right for you and just leaving that and, you know, finding the perfect one. They feel like you have this fearless energy out there within you, which is brilliant. Okay. This is something which many people lack, but seeing this in you, I feel really motivates them as well quite a lot. And then we have here the star. Okay. I'm sensing from this that a lot of people actually really, you know, um, admire you. They admire your courage and your strength. The star usually comes up after the, um, the tower. So it's like, you know, when everything out there has just been shattered, this person doesn't lose hope and they start fresh again, which is very, you know, like how I felt here in the full energy. Now, with the star as well is someone who is very transparent. So it's like you do not have two sides to you. You're not um, someone here who's wearing a mask or people don't see that side of you. I really don't think so. And I don't feel as well that a lot of you would be wearing a mask. It's like the way you truly are, how you truly feel, that's how it's going to show out there to the other people. It's a very, very transparent energy. Okay. And interestingly, we have this facade after this. Yes. So, pal two, nothing has been hidden from your life here, um, with your life from people, okay? What you've been through, what you've experienced, like I said, you could be someone who is very open about your life. Maybe it's recently where you started opening up quite a lot about yourself, your past experiences here, which you've been through. And they really admire that you've been through so much in life, you've gone through so much in life, and still you're always coming up out there as stronger than ever. They do, however, feel like the pain which you've been through, you're still holding on to it. They sometimes notice the side of you, which can be, you know, um, a little bit painful, right? It's like maybe some of you could be having a little mood swings, okay? Where sometimes you could be out there enjoying life and at times you kind of go in your, um, in your shell. So when you do go on your shell, these people notice out there that there is something which maybe you're currently experiencing. And again, it's because you're so transparent, it's very difficult for you to hide this from people. So when you do go in your shell or when you're kind of not in the best mood out there, people are able to read you. They do recognize that there is something which maybe you're currently going through or something which you've been through out there in the past. Okay, and then we have impartiality. Okay. It's like, like I say, you're very black and white. Okay, it's not like there are different deeper, deeper shades into you, which people find it difficult to read. You are pretty black and white. And I feel that's how you are in your approach as well. If there is something you would like, you would say it. If there's something you do not like, you will not say it. And this is something I feel people appreciate because if they do want an honest advice, if they do want an honest outlook about certain things, you are the person they go to. And the way you say things as well, it's not in a very harshful manner, it looks like. It's, you seem to be, you seem to come across as someone who is very balanced in their heart and soul. So the way you would say things would show people both sides. You would show them, you know, if you take this route, this will happen. If you take that route, that will happen. If you choose this, this will be the outcome. If you choose that, that will be the outcome. So you're able to show people both sides. And also I'm saying that you find it very difficult to take sides actually, all right? As much as you're open and honest, you find it difficult out there to take sides because maybe you love, you know, having friends around you. You love that environment and you do not like to take sides and make someone feel worse than the other. You like to create this balance, this harmony um, in any connections or relationships out there. So yes, you're the best person to kind of know, you know, 
um, what would happen if you take particular situations or to have a best outlook on both sides but you yourself would not choose any sides out there and this could be a very good reason for you to actually have you know a good social surroundings because you do not um, hold very hard feelings you probably just like you know being a little bit more um, impartial and very very balanced so I'm seeing as someone out there who does um, have many admirers as well okay and then we have your right rejoice and celebration not surprising so people like to be your friend they like to know you they want to spend time with you because you're just so much fun I'm saying here and again it's because of this energy here where you know you are like a very um gutsy person you like taking risk you like socializing and you do not like taking sides which actually helps you in maintaining connections and relationships and you are like the peacemaker so people really really love spending time with you hanging out with you and you could be again having many friends or many people do want to be a part of a social circle and be friends with you we have here the universe okay this is like the world card so with the star universe full there are so many major arcanas out there you are a very important part in many people's life okay maybe for you they all are just like generic friends but for your friends for your family you could be someone very very important it's like the center of the life and like i said if they are in any trouble or if they feel they want to know things a bit more you're the first person they probably would be calling and getting more information from so you are kind of the center of many people's lives i don't know if you're aware of this or not and we have here blessed yeah i feel like people feel their life is blessed because you are in their life we have these two like right next to each other so yes people do feel like you being in their life is like a blessing for them maybe once you enter their life things started you know more harmony more laughter more smiles were in their life they're able to bring this in so many people's life without you knowing it you you know you could be like the um i won't say center of attraction but it's kind of a life of a party right the party be missing without you people's lives they would feel incomplete out there without you so it's something which you know they hold very dear to their heart you're very very special to many people out there without you even knowing about it then we have your higher power okay these two look so similar to each other there is um pile two very deep um, energy here which i'm seeing in you and this is something which the divine pops into for you number four could be very significant now what i'm seeing here is the way you connect to people the way you talk to them sometimes you don't even realize why did you say that why did you react like that it's like the divine has been putting things in your head what you should say how you should react so in that way you're able to help other people in their lives right so it's not something which you're consciously doing but it's subconsciously happening and that's the reason I feel that maybe all these people right maybe they are not the center of your life but for them you are and that's because of this higher power this energy out there which you're illuminating which you're spreading across right all by this divine source of energy that is so so beautiful and last we have here image number 23 Okay, so they see you as this, you know, very grounded person, very, very courageous, very strong, right? Like I said in the beginning, you're someone very, very courageous and strong out there. And it's like you're very dependable. They could depend on you for everything, even the slightest thing. They feel like you're a very reliable source of person. You could be someone as well who's very, you know, um, who gives very practical advices, who's very grounded, who has a lot of wisdom and strength. I hope you recognize all these qualities within you, but I do feel like you are someone as well, very special, and they recognize this fact about you. Okay, it's, um, it's a very grounded energy, and this is how you make people feel. You kind of, through the divine source which you receive, you spread this across the people you meet. 
all right there's a very deep power out there within you and i hope you recognize this fact about yourself if not then probably you need to go a little bit more deeper to recognize this side about you but for you it's like no matter how difficult situation is you do not look at them like a difficulty you look at them as an opportunity which you can overcome and this wisdom of yours is what you spread to people and make them look at things from a lighter perspective you do not make them feel like things need to be this difficult for them which is nice which is really really beautiful i feel like a spirit is always there by your side you could be having a lot of you know nudges all the time sometimes to do things sometimes to say things without even knowing why you had to do it but later on realizing that it has helped many people around you so i must say you do have a lot of admirers you do have a lot of followers as well out there okay and yeah if probably you do want to start something and wondering as well if you will have many followers this is kind of there for you because the way you say things the way you do things will automatically just attract the right people out there in your lives all right paltio i really hope you enjoyed this reading and if you did please don't forget to share like and subscribe i am offering a personal tarot reading uh, i'm also teaching a tarot course and soul reading and also i'm offering a very wonderful coaching service for all of you empaths out there who are afraid to share your gift and want to come out in the open and maybe even start your own spiritual business so if you're interested in any of these you could email me my email address is provided in the description below thank you so much goodbye welcome pal three all those have chosen the orange heart it's an honor for me to do a reading for you today we're now going to look into how do people see you what do they think about you okay so first we have here the queen of cups right so pile three now people see you as someone here who's very um secretive i'm saying it's like you do not pull all your cards out there in the open and they, they do feel like there is something out there which you're not open about. Maybe it could be regarding your um, career. You could be doing some side hustles, which they don't know about. It could be some connection or relationships out there which you're hiding. Something about your, you know, about your personal life, which you're not very um, open about. Now, yeah, so they do find you someone out there who is kind of um, hiding many things in their life. And they do understand that this could mean something emotional to you and that's of course probably the reason but they do know that when you do speak um, if you do not want to reveal certain things you wouldn't reveal it and you'll only reveal it when you feel it's right or maybe to the people whom who are closest to you they also see you as someone very um, emotional okay someone who loves um, who's very good in listening who loves helping people um, it's again very similar to um, power one's energy in a slight way but I'm getting a slight nurturing feeling out there but yes they do know that you are working a lot in your life you're working a lot on yourself and just trying to be the best version of yourself and right now probably you're not ready to reveal all the cards out there but they do know there is something which you're currently working on okay all oh, right interesting next card is seven of pentacles so this is a card of someone who has done all the work but they're waiting for the results or they're waiting for the outcome so like i said people probably know you very well they know that you would only announce things you would only reveal things once it is 100 percent ready you wouldn't just say things you know while you're working on it so this is an energy of someone here who's waiting for results so they do feel like something is kind of cooking out there something is um something is happening in your life which you're not being very open about and it could be again anything maybe it's a connection relationship you're not sure about it's a new project you're working in or you want to find a new job and then announce it but you know it's also possible that you do not say everything everything good happening in your life but you do know like things are working well for you it's just that you are not revealing it maybe you'll reveal when the time is right out there um they also see you as someone who is very 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 hard working there is a lot of hard work here which is involved things are not easy for you at all okay it's a lot of hard work in your life and they do sense it then we have here, K 
Okay, despondent. Now with this, again, I do feel it's like a lot of hard work. Like I said, there is so many things out there on your shoulders which you're carrying. Um, you feel like, you know, you are revealing yourself. You do feel like you are showing people your true self, okay? But people don't feel that. Maybe because, for example, when um, you do, for example, share a photograph, you would make sure that you look perfect in that. You'd make sure that, you know, everything is in place out there and you would show the best photograph, right? You wouldn't show something which is a little bit mediocre. And that's the reason why people feel that, you know, nobody's life is perfect and it can't be yours as well. But whenever they see yours, it's something which has happened and it shows the perfection in it. But for you, you do feel like, you know, this is who I am. This is what I'm showing. What does come across though is your hard work. Like I said, it's definitely your hard work out there, which people can see. There is so much which you're carrying around you, so much which is happening. And they do sense like something in your life is not going right though. They do sense that there's something bothering you. It's a sort of heaviness out there which you're experiencing. Maybe unknowingly the things you're saying or the things you're you know, portraying is kind of um, displaying the side of yours, okay, where, yes, my life is not perfect, but I'm only showing the perfect side of it. But yeah, they do know something is kind of not where you would like it to be. And then we have here rejection. Um, with rejection, I do feel like you've probably rejected many people in your lives, okay? It's like, and I'm sensing that so many people have tried coming close to you, but you follow your intuition and intuitively, if you do feel like, you know, this person or these people are not right for you, you would just say, you know, I do not want you to be in my life or you'll just ignore them as if they do not exist. Okay, your energy, seriously, Pal 3, is very, very similar to Pal 1. A lot of you probably could have been attracted to Pal 1 or you would like to watch Pal 1 as well. So um, you like doing things here on your own. You do not like depending on other people. You kind of like to depend on your energy, no matter how heavy it is, no matter how difficult it is, you do not like taking favors. So for you, it's like you depend on your instincts, on your intuition, on your hard work, because maybe whenever you've depended on other people, you found nothing but disappointment and you do not want to be disappointed again. So you rely more on yourself and your judgment, okay? So in the process, I do feel many people have tried coming close to you, but yeah, you've probably pushed them away or you didn't even realize that that's what they were trying to do is to build connections with you. Okay, then we have your fertility. Yes, you are on the verge of creating something I'm sensing here, but I guess it's become a bit overwhelming. Maybe it's too much you're doing at one time or maybe you're still not seeing the results which you really, really want to see. Now this, I do feel it is hidden. It's like you are protecting. It's like, you know, you're protecting your baby out there from the world. You do not want, um, or you do not want people to know that you're pregnant till actually the baby's there, it's that sort of thing. Okay, maybe you're afraid of judgment, maybe you're um, afraid of, you know, um, kind of the evil eye falling on it. There could be something attached to it, but it's like you want to show things only once you have created it completely or delivered it completely, all right? So yes, what people are thinking potentially um, could be true. You could be giving out just small hints here and there, but not really showing the true side of it. And then we have your power. It's like the strength card. So there are two sides to you, Pal 3. Definitely there are two, um, two, sorry, two sides to you, which is coming up out there. One is that strong, courageous side, and one is that, you know, soft side to you. So you are very, very, very strong. I'm seeing this, you know, I'm seeing it kind of this way. One side is a soft queen of cups side and the other side is a strong empress side where you can create things. So you have this beautiful balancing energy of masculine, feminine kind of out there for you. So you're able to tap into emotions. You probably, a lot of you could be empaths as well watching out there. At the same time, you have this masculine energy as well to be able to co-create things, to be able to, you know, um, to create whatever abundance you would like in your life. 
and we have your truth to be told yes so there's something out there which you will be ready to reveal very very soon like i said it could be anything could be anything heavy um, out there for you connections relationships careers opportunities something out there but the mask which you feel i think you are working on revealing yourself you're working on you know removing that mask and you're slowly you've kind of partially done it and very soon you would open it up completely right it could be probably in the next few months maybe by um, the middle of this year i'm feeling that you would reveal your mask completely and you'll be like there you go this is me this is what i do and I don't care about your judgment. I do not care about your criticism. This is who I am. So very soon, you are going to reveal the true, true side of yourself. And we have your co-create. Like I said here, creation. This is a part of you. So you have such strong, magnificent energy out there, Pal Tree. People see the side within you where you're able to just create things. You're able to just, you know, um, Bring forward whatever you want. You have so much of courage out there. Um, I do feel like people here want to actually like collaborate with you. They want to do things with you, but you do not allow it. You do not want to be um, tied up with someone else or be under someone else's wings. You feel much more stronger being in your own power out there. And lastly, we have image number 37. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like I said, a balance of masculine and feminine. And this is what's coming out here. Can you see that? There's a masculine and feminine out there. This is so interesting. So yes, there is a balance um, of masculine and feminine for you out there. When you want to show your strength, you show it. When you want to show your um, softer side, you can do that as well. You have everything going on there um, for you. Now, I feel like you have impacted many people's life and they keep you in their heart. They do kind of remember you, cherish the moment and the time spent with you. Okay, you've kind of created a mark out there um, in their life. And what's interesting here, Pal Tree, is that I feel you do not show everyone your true side. Everyone has a different picture of yours. Some sees you as a very courageous person. Some see you as someone who's very glamorous. Someone sees you as someone who is very sensual. Some see you as someone very intelligent. You have different shades and different sides to you, right? That's why people feel like you're always hiding something because you're just, you just show people a different side of yours. If you feel, you know, you're part of a social group where it's very glamorous, you just talk about maybe your beauty tips. If you feel you're sitting in someone who loves reading, you would just talk about intelligent thing. You mold yourself out there according to how people are. So this is a very actually special gift of yours. I'm sensing it's like the whole world out there is within you and that's why you have all sides to you. But I feel very, very soon you would show people who you truly are. Okay, that is so beautiful, Pal Tree. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Now, I am offering a personal tarot reading. I'm also teaching tarot course and offering a beautiful soul reading. At the same time, I'm offering a very special coaching sessions for all of you out there who are interested in showing your gifts to the world. Maybe you've been afraid and you've been hiding those gifts of yours. And maybe you're interested in starting your own spiritual business. So if these are something you're interested in, you could email me. My email address is mentioned in the description below. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Goodbye.